So this is a foam board that you can probably get from a dollar store or Walmart. And I have the measurements here for the kitchen cupboards. And this is the, the bottom. And I put the measurements down here. So from here to here is 10 inches. Then from here to here is a little less than 6 inches. Same with this one. And then from here to here is 7 inches. And from here to here is 4 inches. So, and then you'll be needing two times. I'm going to cut this out and then I'll uh, trace this one and cut another one out. So this is what we're going to glue together first. And I always give it a little bit more on both ends. The thickness, depending on how thick your foam board is. Just make sure so it will fit perfectly like this. So just give it a little extra on both sides. So if all your measurements are good, the top piece should fit right in, like this. On the bottom here, it's one inch high. Glue that on, on here. And then I measured the half of this here, three and a half, three and a half, and we're gonna put it Right here, it's one three eighths of a circle, and here I have some white scrap of paper. I'm gonna make a bunch, fold it in half, just like that, not all the way, just like this. Same with the other one, so we're gonna glue it on like this. This part is the top of the kitchen counter here, and I have two empty yogurt containers. I'm gonna use those for the sink. I'm gonna spray paint it with a metal silver. But first I'm gonna measure. And we are not gonna cut out exactly, because we want them to sit on the frame here around so I'm gonna make sure to cut it down like this evenly and then cut it out so I'm gonna cut out this part with an exacto knife, please be careful, it's very sharp. And this is how they look after I painted them, and they should fit like this. Here I have those round lollipop sticks, and I'm gonna glue them on with hot glue, like that because I want a round edge over here.
Now we're going to glue this on. It's a drawer liner. It has like a back that you can take off and then it sticks. I'm gonna cover the whole thing, the top part. So I'm going to be measuring and cutting. I have some photo paper here. It's a little bit glossy and shiny. And I'll be covering all the little edges here and the front. As this one is a little shorter, I'm going to make that photo paper a little longer so it's going to cover this part here. little strips for the inside shelf here so here I have something round I'm gonna just go like this on a piece of cardboard and then same with this side here After cutting it out, we're going to trace and get another one. Stainless steel looking kind of scrapbook paper. And I'm going to trace it on here. And we're going to cut it out. Now we're going to glue these two pieces of cardboard together. And we're gonna glue the scrapbook paper on there. And then I pre cut those already. And I'm gonna go around it like this and glue it on. Now we're going to take it and glue it on over here. Here I have a lollipop stick and I'm going to use that for the sink. I have some push pins, round ones, and I'm going to paint them silver too. This year I used before already in one of my previous videos where I did the dining chairs and it's just a, like a see-through straw that got cut down and that's just the rest that I keep and I thought that's gonna work good I'm gonna put it in here I'm gonna paint that metallic silver too and I'm gonna wrap the tape around here because it's still loose just some regular clear tape Now we're going to glue this on. It's 
this in. And then we can turn it. And we'll put these in. Blue and red Sharpie. And this year I cut off just the tip of a ketchup bottle or a mustard bottle. I'm going to use that. I'll paint it silver and I'm going to put it right in here.